In the previous video, we have designed some pages which required navigation and we used navigator.push method everywhere. Like let me show you. In the profile page, open this bottom model sheet, come a bit down. We use navigator push here and also in our home page, come a bit down here. And you will see again navigator push but that's not the good way to use navigator push everywhere it is if you have two or three pages in your application so it's just a good way to use the navigator push only but if you have lots of pages in your application or you have a giant application that has so many pages so you have to use a bit cleaner way that will be easy for you to track a particular page when you want it so now let's do that routing of pages using a clean way. We will use the generate routes of our material app. Let's go to our main page and here if you press control and space and intelligence will be opened and there is a property which is on generate route which accepts route dynamic function. In here we will call on generate route which will going to be our class and dot route which will be a static method inside this class so let's create it go a bit down in your directories in the lib create new dart file that will be on on generate route inside this create a class its name will be on generate route open body and inside there will be a static method its return type will be route dynamic as we have seen in the main dot dart this on generate route except the route dynamic and function which accept the route strings so we will do it the same way route dynamic like this null its name will be route it will accept route settings only settings and open body and down here we will create a final variable that will be our arguments equal to setting dots argument later if a page required some arguments so we will use these argument to send arguments to a particular page and here we will do switch settings dot name now if case was profile page or let's say edit profile page so we will return route builder and inside the name of the page that will be edit profile page put semicolon here and now what is that route builder that route builder will going to be a method that method route builder which accept a widget in the parameters and it returns the material page route builder context and arrow function that child like as we did in our navigator push so we have created a separate method for our material page route and it accept a widget like this and return that widget and in the route builder we have passed that widget edit profile page and in that case now we are not going to use navigator.push but we will use navigator.push name because we are switching the case on name and in the case of this name we will send user to the edit profile page so just like this Go to the main dot dart and import this on generate route and also remove this home from here and here initial route will be this slash only initial route and there will be routes which return type is map string and widget function routes open body this will be first if you hover on this route you will see map string and widget function build context so first there will be the route name which will be string and its value will be widget function build context first there will be let's say slash on home we can say our home or our main screen this will take a context and again open body and this will return our main screen just like this now hot restart your application and everything works the same and in the on generate route we have add the switch case with this we also have to add the default which will return no page found no page found put semicolon here and this will be scaffold app bar app bar will be some title that 
page not found and also in the body there will be some text in the center that page not found like if some case not match in the switch case so by default it will return no page found so by doing this we have create only route for edit profile page which is some hard coded string here edit profile page so let's go and use it go to our profile page and we use navigator push here and remove or let's say comment this and we will use navigator dot push name this time context will be the context and the name will be the string that we have passed in the on generate route copy this and go to profile page and paste that string here now how to start your application again to reset everything open emulator again go to profile page open this and when i click this edit profile page so it works the same go back but if you look at this edit profile page that's really a hard coded string and that's not a good way to do this so to do it on more clean way go to the const and here we will create a class that will be our page const and here there will be some static const string and edit profile page will be equal to edit profile page so that's our string in that page cons class for our edit profile page so now we will go to our on generate route and here we will do page cons dot edit profile page like when the case was edit profile page cons that string so we will return this edit profile page and the same will be for when we are navigating from here there will also not be that hard coded string of edit profile page but that will be from the page const edit profile page and that will work the same because we just separate the hard coded string in our constant and this will work the same now how to start the application to check it out and go to the profile page click on this edit profile and this work the same we have separated our routes in the on generate route and in the main we are using the on generate route of our material app so now this will be the same for all the pages now i will copy and paste that case paste it and again and again and one more time and go to the const i will replicate it four times second page will be our update post page you can see i have selected both of these strings that has same name and i update them once so if you don't know how we can do this you have to select some text or something and hold alt on your keyboard and press the j on your keyboard so that will select the same text on that particular page so now you can change them press backspace to delete them and the other page is comment page just like this and this one will be for sign in page and that will be for sign up page just like this we have created the constant for our pages go to the on generate route and if the case was page constant dot update post page so we will send user to the update post page and if the case was comment page so we will send user to the comment page and if the case was sign in user so we will send user to the sign in and the same will be for sign up page sign up page so that was it for our routes that routes for now not accepting any arguments so that's okay now let's go and change all that navigator push to navigator push named and pass the page const and the name of the page which is a simple constant of page name string so in the home page we use this navigator push let's comment it out there will comes our navigator dot navigator dot dot push name constant will be constant page const dot comment page just like this copy this from here and go a bit up here and hold alt on your keyboard 
so this will become clickable and click on this so this will send us to the open bottom model sheet come a bit down update post comment this only push and paste your push name here and this time the string will be update post page and go to the sign in page we are using push and remove until here so we will comment this from here and we'll do navigator dot push name and remove until new page name will be page cons dot sign up page and that route will be false just like this now copy this from here and go to the sign up page and from here comment this out paste it right here and change the page const sign in page so that's good now how to restart the application to reset everything and then check them one by one open our emulator first check out the comment page when i click this so it's working the same with navigator push named and also this go back go to update post it also working the same and go to profile and it's also working the same and let's go to the main page and replace this main screen with sign in page and how to start the application open our emulator so when i press the sign up we come to our sign up page when i press the sign in so we comes to the sign in page so we have done our routing on a bit clean way we have created on generate route separate for here and in the future if there were the need of any route so we will simply create a case like this and we will create a constant for that right here and then we will only call this navigator push name with the page const name so this will directly navigate us to that particular page of the name so this will work just like this and that was routing of our application and that was it for the video i hope this video was helpful if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you and you also can get this code from the github and also from the written tutorial and with this be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever the next video is uploaded for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video